today we will learn conversion of fraction into decimal and conversion of decimal into fraction. Here is a square whose four-fifth part is shaded. Let's represent it in decimal form. Can you tell me how we will do this? Think for a while. Let me tell you. To represent any fraction in decimal form, we need to find its equivalent fraction whose denominator must be a number like 10, 100, 1000, etc. To find the equivalent fraction of 4 by 5, we will divide each part of the square into two equal parts. Thus, we will get a total of 10 equal parts. Now, 8 of these parts are shaded. So, we can say that the equivalent fraction of 4 by 5 is 8 by 10. We will represent the same in decimal form as 0 0.8. Generally, to find the equivalent fraction of any fraction, we will multiply the numerator and the denominator of the fraction by the same number. In the same way, we can represent a decimal number in the fraction form. Let's assume we need to represent 2.6 in fraction form. In 2.6, there are two units and six tenths. Let us consider one square as one unit. So, we will take two squares for two units. Along with this, since there are six tenths, we will divide one square into ten equal parts and take six parts from it. In this square, if we combine two parts and make one part of it, then we will get a total of five parts out of which three parts are shaded. This will be represented in the fraction as 3 by 5. Therefore, two complete wholes and 3 by 5 fraction are together represented as 2 3 by 5. That is why 2.6 will be represented in the fraction as 2 3 fifths. Like fractions, we can also represent decimal numbers on the number line. Let's understand this. Here is a number line. We have taken a few numbers on it to represent the decimal numbers. Let's divide unit distance in 10 equal parts. Can you tell how one part among this will be represented? Think for a while. You got it right. This will be 1 by 10, which can be represented as 0 0.1. In the same way, 2 tenth part will be represented by 0 0.2, 3 tenth part will be represented by 0 0.3. How will we represent 2.6 on the number line? In this case also, we will divide the unit distance into 10 equal parts. In 2.6, since there are 2 units and 6 tenths, we will count 6 parts after 2. By doing so, we will get the place of 2.6. Similarly, to represent 3.9 on the number line, we will divide the unit distance into 10 equal parts and count 9 parts after 3. By doing this, we will get the place of 3.9. Today, we have learned conversion of fractions into decimals and conversion of decimals into fractions. In the next video, we will learn how to compare the decimal numbers.